the bottom of the vessel we have a round hole of diameter d at what maximum thickness of the mercury layer will the liquid still not flow out through this hole so what's preventing the flow of liquid will be the surface tension so initially the meniscus will be like this when the water is very less and as we start filling more and more water the meniscus which is going to take a more circular shape and eventually before it breaks down i mean before the water starts flowing out the meniscus will have a hemispherical shape because that is the maximum force surface tension can put up on this part of the water you have to imagine this so this is the hemispherical shape of droplet and if you imagine a a circular circumference so all the points on the, those circumference are pulling this sorry this drop up so that is the force and when the meniscus was of uh, higher radius then the angle was this so force was less this time it is hemispherical so force is upwards and that is the maximum force so at maximum height droplet will be of hemispherical shape as force due to surface tension will be maximum then and we know that pressure difference across the meniscus is 2s pi r so we are going to write the pressure inside this drop going from here and going from the bottom so going from the bottom the pressure p dash is p not plus 2s by r because of the shape of meniscus inside pressure is going to be larger and when we arrive at this point from the top we have p not plus rho gh is equal to p dash from these two equations we remove p dash and we get h is equal to 2s by rho gr which if you recall interestingly is the same as the height of a capillary of radius r sorry of meniscus r all right